Now that we've briefly studied pH and pOH, you probably guessed that there's some equations that go along with those. Well, here they are. We've already seen this one. If you multiply the concentration of hydrogen ion times the concentration of hydroxide ion, the product will always be this value here. Remember that these brackets mean concentration, and concentration is measured in molarity. So if you multiply the two molarities together, you always get this value. And remember that this um, was the equilibrium constant for water. It was called Kw. We also have an equation that helps us find pH. If we take the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, well, that will tell us the pH. We can also do the same thing um, for pOH. Remember that pH is just a convenient way to express hydrogen ion concentration. So similarly, pOH is just a convenient way to express hydroxide ion concentration. The pH of a solution plus the pOH of a solution will always equal 14. Now these next two equations here, these two equations are actually the same equation as this. Um, I've just written it out um, both ways for you so you don't have to do the algebra. Now if you are given the pH of a solution and you wanted to know what the molarity of hydrogen ion would be, well you would do 10 raised to the negative pH and that would tell you the concentration of acid. And we have the same thing if you want to know the concentration of base. Now let's fill out this table together. Let's say we have a solution. We want to know the concentration of um, hydrogen ion, the concentration of hydroxide ion. We want to know the pH, the pOH, and we want to know if the solution is acidic or basic. So the information we have so far is that the molarity the molarity of the solution is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2. Now we know if we multiply the concentration of hydrogen ion by the concentration of hydroxide ion, it will always equal this value. So we know the concentration of this. It's 2.5 times 10 to the minus second. So in your calculator, you would just simply solve for this value. So this would be your x. You would do this number divided by this number. You discover that the concentration of hydroxide is 4 times 10 to the minus 13. So let's plug that in our table. Okay, now we want to know the pH. Well, we have a formula for pH. The pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. We have the hydrogen ion concentration. It's right here. So let's take the negative log of 2.5 times 10 to the second. Comes out to be 1.60, so that's the pH. Let's plug it in the table. Now we have an equation for pOH. It's this here. So let's plug in what we know. We know the pH is 1.6, and we know that the sum of the pH and the pOH is always 14. So let's just solve algebraically, and our pOH is 12.40. Now, is this solution an acid or a base? Well, you know that any solution that has a pH less than 7 is an acid. So this solution here is acidic. And that makes sense. Look at the concentration of acid compared to base. This is relatively high concentration of acid and a relatively small concentration of base. Now, given this pH value, why don't you pause the video now and try to fill in the rest of this row. Okay, now that you've tried the calculations on your own, hopefully these are the numbers you, you calculated. And if you feel led to, um, why don't you pause the video one more time and complete this bottom row. So pause the video now. Okay, here are the values that I got. Hopefully you calculated the same thing.